Okay, this is a first look. I just launched the Photos app and I imported one of my Aperture libraries by just right mouse clicking on it and opening it, opening it in Photos. And a pretty cool program. I'm in the edit mode right now and I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to do some things here. I'm going to click on the retouch, which I do this occasionally. Let's let's get rid of that little like mole or freckle or whatever that's on her skin there. So let me make my tool a little bit bigger. Yep, that would cover it. So it says option click on the source area. So I'm going to use this as my source area. Option click and then bam, gone, just like that. And really, I do very little post-processing to my photos. I usually do a little cropping, do a little bit of exposure, maybe get rid of a, a pimple or something like, like we just got rid of that mark on her skin. And it has this auto-enhance feature here. Bam, that really did a nice, nice job. I mean, what do you need here, guys? The professionals say, oh, this isn't a professional tool and all this. I think it's pretty damn good and pretty fast and easy to use and from what I've heard it handles large libraries I'm gonna import one of my larger libraries and I'll indicate in the comments section here if it doesn't work well with that but I'm assuming it will because others have said that it handles large libraries fine very fast very easy click done get out of this edit mode and you just use your arrows to go from one photo to the other and again if I wanted to do a little crop on that I could by the way it did bring in the crops from Aperture that, that, that were there. They're still here. And so it brings your, your Aperture library in nice and clean. And, and you can still open the library with Aperture. You can go back and forth between the two. And by the way, I still love and use Aperture. It's not dead. It still works. But I am going to transition over to Photos, I think, because it is the future. And I think that it works great. So let's go into the edit mode and see what the little magic thing does to this photo. Bam. Nice. Nice. So anyway, let me know what you think. If you use photos, what your first impression of it is. And um, let me go back to, let's see here. This shows you all the photos in this little set. Okay. And, um, and then if you went to albums, it would show album. Of course, I don't have much in here. This is just a, a small little library that I brought in of just one little shoot. Um, shared, iCloud sharing projects. This is if you want to do like a book. Uh, it seems very intuitive. I mean, no problem at all. I, I think that you're going to have some good luck with it. And I think for most people, it's going to work out great. Choose the magic tool on this one. Bam. Nice. Makes it pop a little bit. I like that. All right. So let me know what you think about photos. Are you going to use it? And if not, why not? And what other option are you looking at? I think this is a lot prettier than Lightroom. Sorry, guys. Carry on. Please subscribe to my channel.